I hope you're well. Today I have my November beauty favourites for you. I can't actually believe it's November already and next month it's going to be Christmas. Christmas is my favourite time of the year so I'm super super happy that it is kind of closer to the end of the year but then I'm not because it's just this year's just flown by. Um, but anyway I'm gonna get started and I don't have that many favourites this month but um, you know, I'll, I'll whiz through them really quickly. So no hair care products this month. I haven't particularly liked any hair products to start off with. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna skip that part and go straight to skincare. So first up from um, Elemis, I really like this White Flowers Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. And um, it's a bi-phase waterproof eye makeup remover. You shake it, sort of gently shake it like that and um, it turns into a sort of a milky solution quite oily you put it on your cotton pad and swipe it over your eyes and literally it removes your makeup like with one swipe straight away and it's extremely gentle for the skin it doesn't particularly smell of anything um which is a bit of a difference for Elemis because Elemis always sort of smells really nice like really aromatherapy aromatherapy sort of oil smells but um yeah really like this and would recommend that anyone with sort of sensitive eyes um or people who wear contact lens um should try this out um, next up from Jalique, I have two products. Uh, first one is the Rose Water Balancing Mist Intense and the Rose Moisture Plus Mask. And both products are rose scented, which is my favourite scent of all time. It's so warming, um, it's relaxing, and yeah, so this is a toner, and I always use this after cleansing, which is obviously what a toner does, um, and then press it onto the skin, so spritz press. Um, I also use this like sort of around my neck area because I find it really gentle and just um, smells absolutely amazing and really cooling for the skin. And then the Rose Moisture Plus Mask is an um, a mask that you can put on overnight so if you know me or you watch my previous videos or you read my blog post you will know that I am a massive overnight mask fan and this one is in my favorites this month because it is a godsend for dry skins and especially for now that the weather is colder it is so warming on the skin and it, I mean, it doesn't feel warming on your skin when you put it on but it just feels like it's just really rich and really moisturizing cream texture love it when I wake up in the morning and I wash it off and it, my skin is just glowing so this mask is an absolute in your skincare routine if you're a rose fan and if you need some moisture free skin. Next up from the body care category just one product which is the Rutules um, Sweet Orange and Cedarwood Caring Shower Oil from the Laughing Buddha range which I have blogged about and I absolutely love the whole range. Um, I didn't, I don't have the beauty lo the body lotion with me and the mist, the happy mist, whatever you call it, um, but this is the favourite from the free. Um, it's a shower oil and once you put a few pumps in your hand and you mix it with water it turns into like a milky texture milky emulsion and all over your skin and it doesn't leave any oily residue on your skin after when you wash it off but it does leave an amazing amazing scent and um, it lasts for ages as well you can smell it on your skin all day and especially if you put the body lotion on after with it as well it um the scent's just it's just great you can smell it from a mile off and it's just really relaxing really nice scent um yeah so recommend that really inexpensive as well i think it was probably about eight pounds and this whole bottle will probably last you a very very long time um, on to my makeup bits um this month my favorite foundation that i've only just sort of started using is the rimmel wake me up foundation and i know it's been talked about by a lot of bloggers and a lot of youtubers out there um i can't believe that i've only just waited until now to try it but yeah one of those things just happens um this one if you actually look really closely at it i don't know if it's it must be i don't know if it's bottled with the foundation but it looks like it's got sort of like shimmery parts in it and it leaves my skin with such a nice base really glowy really um it brightens up my skin and my, my skin just looks instantly refreshed um really easy to blend and and glides on the skin really good um with my brush i just literally put a few dabs on and then quick blend and it is literally dissolves into my skin straight away and it lasts for ages Then after that I will use my favorite bronzer this month which is the Bourjois Delice de Soleil de Soleil Soleil I can't say it in French um, bronzing powder and um, it came out in the summer and it is really 
it's like a, in a little it's the compact's actually quite big to fit into your makeup bag but it does fit into my makeup bag currently and it's got a little mirror inside here which i'm not going to shine too much because i don't want it to make the, the lens go all funny and then you've got the um like a little square powder section there compact and you've got the brush that comes with it i don't actually use this brush 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 as much unless i'm doing a bit of contouring um i actually use my mac uh, 150 powder brush to apply this um really soft and guides on skin really smoothly with the brush and leaves a really nice not so bronze but you've got a, like a slight bronze which is what i like because i don't want to look too caked in it and this is really good for that then i have two lip products uh, so the first one is the from the Rihanna collection, her newest collection, um, the shade in Nude, and it's like a nude brown. And I'm not, I wasn't a massive fan of brown lipsticks before, and I, I, I wouldn't say I am now, but this one in particular it looks okay on me, or I would say look better on me than any of the other brown shades that I've swatched or tried on my lips before. It doesn't wash me out, which all the others did, and um, watch me out, did I say watch me out or wash me out? It doesn't wash me out, um, doesn't make me look like I'm ill, because I know that some certain colours would make certain people look ill, and this one is just really nice, and it's in the matte formula, for sure, yeah, matte, um, and it's not drying at all, and it's just in, also my current in my makeup bag, my favourite one in my makeup bag at the moment. And then from Rimmel, I have from the Moisture Renew collection, and I know they've recently sort of relaunched the whole collection and added a few more colours in. And this one is Glam Plum Fulham, and I've got it on today at the moment for you to see. Um, it's like a plummy red. And a new formula, I think, um, compared to the old formula, is actually a lot more moisturising. The colour is a lot more pigmented and makes my lips more shiny and also it lasts for ages. I could drink, I could eat, I could just do anything and it would stay put all day maybe with like maybe one application, reapplication and it's just not even a whole reapplication. It's like a few dabs of it and you, you know, it just amazing, amazing collection of colours from there. So I would suggest you, 100% suggest you should try them out if you haven't. And lastly, um, from Essie's Fall Winter collection of nail polishes is this blue, almost black navy in the shade After School Wear Blazer. And I know that it's been going around YouTube and blogs a lot lately, the collection, but this one is definitely my favourite for this month. I um, love dark colours anyway, and this one is just... Um, I like the fact that when you sh at certain points it looks black and then and then after if you shine into the light it looks more navy. A uh, really good formula. The brush is wide and gives good coverage. So yeah, so I also have a few of the colours from the range. Um, the the grey with the shimmery parts. I also reviewed vested interest on my blog and the other one which is the red. Um, it's called twin set of set or something like that which is really good as well all of the collection is quite nice so um available now in boots so i would suggest boots and super Shock, so you can try it out these colors if you like dark winter colors so that's all from my uh favorites for this month i know there wasn't a lot but like i said i didn't particularly like a lot i mean didn't particularly have a lot of things to talk about um if you like the video please comment like and subscribe and yeah i shall see you in my next video bye I wish the couple on the car would just get a room It seems like everyone arrives on their own I'd love to take a pen to a heart-shaped balloon Everybody's got somebody to me Well, I don't know how I landed on this spooky set It's like a casting call from Romeo and Juliet I never would've known